Welcome back to Idaho Today, and we are continuing to partner with Corn Ford to help highlight the good deeds of nonprofits in our area. And today, we are talking about Meals on Wheels in Nampa. I recently talked to the program's coordinator and the president of St. Alphonsus in Nampa to hear how the program works and how you can help. Travis and Tanya, it's great to see you both. I would love to share with our viewers the Meals on Wheels program. So give a little definition, what is this? So the Meals on Wheels program is a program that serves hot, delicious, nutritious meals to um, local seniors who are over age 60 and homebound living in the city of Nampa. Um, and the Meals on Wheels program purpose is sort of a twofold purpose, if you will. Um, number one, we address hunger in our senior population here in Nampa by serving a hot, nutritious meal to seniors every day, Monday through Friday, with the possibility of frozen meals for the weekend if they so choose. Um, and then the second thing that we address is um, senior isolation, which um, is typically a problem, but right now during this time of pandemic, we're really noticing that our seniors are are really isolated. And so we um, have a crew of, of highly trained volunteers who go out every day, spend a few minutes, make that all important eye to eye, face to face contact, you know, hi, how are you doing? Anything I can help with? And um, just really kind of make them feel like they're not so alone right now. How long have these services been provided to the community? The Meals on Wheels program started in Nampa in 1974. So we've been doing it for quite a while. That's great. And then this uh, being a nonprofit requires funding, right? So Travis, help us understand where does the funding for Meals on Wheels come from? So the funding is quite the collaboration. We receive some of the funding through a housing and urban development grant that comes to the city of Nampa. It's called a CBDG grant, and that allows us to apply for that for various community needs. We also raise some of the money through our annual Festival of Trees uh, Gala, which is a great way for individuals to participate. We put some uh, volunteer hours and dollars into it through our San Alfonsis Nampa Foundation and all of that comes together and creates meals for people. And I understand because of the pandemic though, some of those fundraising efforts have been canceled, um, but you're pivoting and there's another opportunity for people to get involved and give back. Tanya, tell us about that. That is correct. So yes, indeed, we did have to cancel the Canyon County Festival of Trees this year. Um, and that is one of our largest fundraisers and actually um, it actually funds the Nampa and Caldwell Meals on Wheels programs. And so in lieu of that event this year, we are going to be doing a pledge drive on our website. So if folks are interested in making a pledge to the two Meals on Wheels programs, they can go to our website at canyoncountyfestivaloftrees.com. Great, and if people are interested in volunteering, um, maybe helping with some of the fundraising, or if they wanna learn more about the services provided by Meals on Wheels, where do they go? So uh, the best and the easiest place to go is stalfonsis.org, Meals on Wheels. You'll find all the information about the program there and a contact phone number. And as mentioned moments ago, we've partnered with Corwin Ford to highlight 16 nonprofits in our area who are helping to make our community a better place. And just a few weeks ago, Corwin Ford made donations to those nonprofits, including $10,000 to the Nampa Meals on Wheels. In total, Corwin Ford has donated $200,000 to local nonprofits. Now, if you want to see your business featured on the show or perhaps in your organization or maybe you're a local influencer, let us know. We would love to hear from you. Send us an email at idahotoday at ktvb.com.